everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a little bit different of a video. I have not done this a video like this before. It's going to be a fall trends video. I actually kind of like the trends for this year so I want to do a video on them. I just want to put a quick little disclaimer or reminder for everyone. Not every trend is for everyone. Like when I'm going down this list I will tell you which ones I absolutely do not like which ones I like but I will not be taking part of and how I style them a little bit. There are a couple items that I have in my closet so I'm going to show video and move a little bit. I'll post like Pinterest videos right here or like my own version right here of videos and photos so you guys can get a better idea of the trends and styles that I'm talking about. I believe I have 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have 10, but some of them have like, if you don't want to do this, you can kind of do this and it's going to have a similar style and stuff like that. So enough rambling and let's get started with today's video. So for style trend number one is going to be neutrals and browns. I personally love the neutrals and browns look, most especially for the fall. This little outfit, we have like tan cream pants black but then like this brown little cardigan I'm really loving this neutral style browns just like the tan colors um whites I'm not gonna lie are not my favorite like bright whites not my favorite probably because they're really hard to take care of I'm a mess and I also have dogs their dog hair everywhere or like she'll go and step in the mud or water and like she'll jump on me so I'm not gonna lie, like the whites area of it, not my favorite. I like black for like an all black look or like black little accents here and there, but I really do like the browns and tans a lot better for this trend. Um, I'll show a couple like inspo pictures of course. The next one is jackets. Um, I like this trend. I have yet to find a jacket because I will not buy one off of Shein. I refuse to shop on Shein if I can help it, um, but for inspiration, you know, I can go down their website a little bit, but jackets, I found kind of like my version of jacket is like this pink corduroy one. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it in a couple of my videos that I wear, because I do wear it a lot, and I wear it with this like um, Aritzia like leotard, like this long jumpsuit that's like practically all leggings, and I wear it like that a lot, or under hoodies. It's not as thick as the jacket, but for me it gives like the same effect, and it's kind of like corduroy, mine is at least. Um, I've seen this trend done in a couple of ways. So I know people do like plaid, so I'll post a picture here. I've also seen the two-tone ones, which I really do like, where it's like one side's black and then the other side's plaid. I do like that one. I saw one at Macy's, I don't remember which brand it was, but I really liked it as well. And then there was another one. Oh, just like plain colored, again with the neutrals and tans. Just like a plain colored one. And I've also seen them long and short. I think they do absolutely give two different effects. Like the long ones, just like, I don't know, just like more casual, I guess. Like I can see the long ones going with like leggings and stuff like that, where the shorter ones do give you more of like a defined waist. And they usually like fringe out at the, like, at the end. So I do like those. A trend that I absolutely cannot stand though, but I know a lot of people are bringing it back. Some people wear them, some people don't, is low rise jeans. Personally, I do not like low rise jeans. I do not want my muffin top to come out. I'm also thinking like if I bend down or something, like you're just gonna see my whole butt or my whole ass, whatever, um, or you're gonna see my underwear or whatever. I'm just not with it. I really do like the high rise mid rise sometimes depending on how they fit but i'm more of a high rise girl that's 100 percent me it definitely fits my body type better but low rise jeans not for it i know a lot of like gen zers and stuff like that are trying to bring like 2000s fashions back but like in a much nicer way um so i'm all for that just not when it comes to like low rise jeans i can't do it whatsoever and then, like, speaking of, like, 2000s jumpsuits, but, like, the, what are they called? The Juicy Couture, like, velvet jumpsuits. 
it is definitely a trend that I will not partake in. It's not for me. I do not think they look nice on me. Uh, but I will buy them. I do buy them to resell them. I've sold one, like, it was more like of a bomber jacket of the velvet Juicy Couture jumpsuits. Or, like, jacket. And it sold for, like, $40. So I was all for it. So if you are a reseller, I do absolutely um, think you should pick velvet up. I have yet to find, like, the top and, like, the sweats that go with it. I've literally only been able to find the jacket, and I actually found a Juicy Couture swimsuit, so that was a very interesting find. Let's keep on going with the trends. So for the next trend, we have Western boots. They look really cute, or like cowboy boots, depending on how you call them. Um, not my favorite. I will not buy them, but they look cute, and like people know how to style them nicely. I'll post a couple pictures here, like like all the other trends, but they are not for me. I don't know where they came from, like who started wearing them first. I have no clue. I just started seeing them everywhere. Not my favorite. Then we have leather pants. I have an issue with this leather pants trend, I'm not even going to lie, because there's kind of like two sides to them. You have like the matte leather pants, I'll, again I'll post a picture. I'm fine with that. I can do that. Then you kind of have like a shinier version and then you have the really shiny version of the leather pants that honestly just look like plastic. That's not for me. I don't do that. I know the Aritzia, I think Melina pants? I think it's the Melina pants are sold out everywhere. Those ones I like. They're like not super matte. They have like kind of like a little sheen to them but it's not it doesn't look like plastic, and I hate those plastic pants. I'm just going to say it. I hate those damn plastic-looking pants. I think they look horrible. Straight leg and wide leg. My mother's going to kill me for this one. Um, I used to hate straight leg or, like, wide leg. I was skinny girl jeans all the way, like, absolutely not. Like, I look like, I don't know, I felt like it made me really short. Like, it made me look like a little thumb. I don't know if it's just the way people are making them bef now, like versus before, or because now they're more like high waisted, or just because like my body grew a little bit now. But I love them. The only problem is that most of the time I have to recut them myself because I'm only five foot one, um, so I have to recut them. And then I do love the little fringe. I'm not really a fan of like the wide legs that are like sh not structured, like sewn in. Most of mine are fringy, but that's also because I have to cut them myself. Okay, on to the next trend that we have. Silk and satin, like little tops, that nice little sheen. Oh my god, they are so pretty. I have a Victoria's Secret one that's a bodysuit, and I love it. It looks so pretty. And the little slip dresses, I have yet to find a slip dress that's like satin or not satin. Yeah, satin or like silk. Um... That just looks nice because I feel like they just like hug the body correctly. The next trend. I never thought I'd say it, but I'm kind of okay with this vest trend. Now, I've seen it done two ways. I've seen the sweater vest, which is kind of the route that I want to look into. Um, when I was scrolling through Pinterest, I saw one, I saw a girl where it was like a little mock turtleneck and it was a long sleeve, like tight, like form fitting. And then, that's a fly in my tee. Um, and then the sweater vest on top, and I now need to recreate that look. Um, I need a sweater vest now. So, we're on the hunt for a sweater vest. But I've also seen it a vest, like a puffer jacket vest. Not my favorite. I'm not going to wear that. I feel like it's just going to make me look like a balloon. But I've seen it done, and I've seen it people wear it, and honestly, it looks really nice. I'm not going to lie. The last... Um, I, the last trend I have for you guys today for the fall 2021 um, is blazers, but not like normal blazers that you wear to work, like structured long blazers. I found my like structured long blazer in the men's section. It's a ble beautiful blue color and I absolutely love it. Um, 
there's different ways to definitely wear it. I know some people wear them as dresses and kind of like just button up one and then just wear like tights or just biker shorts underneath. Uh, Melina Sissy Audi, I believe that's how you say her last name, wears structured blazers all the time and honestly that's where I fell in love with them. Like they look perfect and she wears them with biker shorts and then I think she's worn them with like, because I like to wear them with like a big t-shirt underneath. I also like that look. I don't know, just the structured blazers. They're like, I feel like they can't be like too oversized because then that's just not the look. At least that's not the look I would be going for. But structured blazers. Alright guys, so that's the whole video. I know it was kind of a short video, um, but it was just 10 quick trends for the fall. I know it's kind of late because it is October 25th when I'm filming this, but I hope you guys like my little trends list that I have going on for the fall. These are all items that I will be looking out for for myself. Well, some of them for myself, as well as some of them to buy to resell. Um, the vest trend, I have this little cute little, like on a little tangent, this cute little like Christmas sweater vest, not sweater, like little vest. I think it's the cutest thing because it has like little like Santa embroidered and stuff like that. Um, but yes, thank you very much for watching. In the comments below, let me know some of your favorite trends either on my list or something that I missed. I know there's a tons of trends out there for different people and what they like to like wear and put on their bodies or what they like to buy as resellers as well. So let me know down in the comments which one's your favorite or a favorite trend that you have for this fall. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!